Hey guys, it's NASCAR Funk Motors Cup Series, and today I had a very uh, popular suggestion that I let in the comments in the community tab saying that if you want a tutorial on how to make a 3D model on your iPhone of a NASCAR diecast, or like just a NASCAR um, 3D model. So I have a bunch of files, like um, I don't think I'll put them in the description, but I know I will put the app uh, link in the description. I'll tell you what app it is. Um, I will also tell you like what apps you need and I will link to the bases that you need to what do you need. So the files basically. So in this case I'm going to be using this uh, template to make it. This right here is going to be on, I call it the B base. So it's kind of like on a Chevy SS base but it's on a, but I'll make it into a Camaro. So what you want to do is just download this. It might take a bit. Okay, there it goes. Download. So now what you want to do is you want to open up documents. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Like, I don't know. So this right here, I'll show you what the file is. It's called 15 Gen 6 C7 or V. And it, what happens is you hit the zip file and it'll give you this like file right here. So what you want to do. So I already made one. This is the 32, of like the PewDiePie car. Um... So this right here is a Chevy. So right now you have a card right here. This card is very useful in making it. So what we're going to do is delete this. And right now it's a BMP file. Go to your photo albums, take the template, and hit copy. And go to documents. Go to this file, Chevy, and copy it to Chevy. So now that the template is in there, so you don't really need the mask. People say like you need the mask, but I've tried it and I don't need it. Now what you want to do is rename this file. So right now it's a JPEG. So you, what you want to do is rename it to card.bmp. Hit done. Use BMP. So now that's what the template's going to be. All this stuff is already here for you. So what you want to do, now what you want to do is take that Chevy file, hit zip. Go to it and then rename it. Now I'm going to rename it to something I can remember. So it's the 52. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. This is a glitch in the app. 52. Um, Warheads. And then 3D. So now that's what it's called right there. Is this the 52 Warheads 3D? Um, I don't know if it's actually the 52, but I can check real fast. Yep. All right, so now what you want to do is take this file, copy, and I made a file, and, and make sure you use iCloud. So I made a file called 3D Cars. This is where all my 3D cars are. You can see them right here. They're all zip files. Copy to 3D files. So now it's in there. So that done, that app's done. The files app, I don't even think you'll need. Um, you... The Chrome app, you'll probably need to download the um, files for this. So now I want to get to this app called Model Show. And you do have to pay. You could get the full thing for $5.99, which means you remove ads, everything is unlocked. But like you could, like the large model, you can put in. I think it's like $1.99, but I'd say get the full thing. It's like $5.99, so you don't have to like pay extra if you ever want to do the other stuff so now what you do is um transparent background keep that off um estimate light um you want you can keep you can keep that on if you want so now what i do is i want to go to icloud plus browse so now we have it right here the 52 warheads cd so what I do is click that file and it'll do everything for you. And let's hope this works. And there it is. Look at that. There it is. The 52 car is now in there. And look, I didn't even have to use a mask for the car. Like I already have it in here. Everything is just how it is. All this all the stuff is in there. Looks pretty nice. And also a little secret thing about this is the driver is actually in here. Now for the driver, I didn't really make like, a thing for him, so he's going to be green. Um, it doesn't really matter, like, to be honest. But it has all the stuff in it on the car, all the decals and everything. 
She's got the bottom. And I think it's pretty cool. And if you want me to, uh, if you want to save it, you hit this button right here, the camera button. Save image. And the image is saved. So, like, if you want to make, like, the things that I make on Instagram, where it's kind of like what Lionel does, is make a front view and then a back view. You have to line it up perfectly as good as you can. You can do it if you want. So like this. I'm not really going to show you how to do that. But once you get the images, um, they won't be PNGs. So you have to cut it out and you have to be very careful. Like you, if you want to cut it out, there's an app called Magic Eraser where it's very useful in like cutting out the car. And then you can make kind of like a 3D view of it, like the front and the back scene. Um, so that's that. Um, I really don't know what else to show you. Now, if you want me to show you how to do trucks um, in Xfinity, um, it's actually kind of more difficult to do since it's like a different type of file, and I've tried to figure it out, but I can only do it on computer because I've tried it on computer and it works. But I know that Cup, both the A mold, which is like the real um, Splash and Go car, it still works in here. Um, the This base still works in here. The Ford, something's weird with it. Like, the windows don't, like, like they're transparent. So you actually see the driver in there. Just keep that in mind. If you really want to have all the decals or whatever it is, like, the windows, like, all in it, you might want to use, like, a MacBook and use a car viewer, which makes it all perfect this what's this still works i mean it's amazing how this works um anyway i think that's all i gotta show you guys um i was hoping you guys enjoyed this video hit make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you want to you don't have to i'm not gonna force you <laughs> all right I'll, I'll see you later and i'll <laughs> bye